we got the week. Enjoy it. We're going to have fun this year. We're going to stand up and cheer, all right? Okay, so a few years ago, Western completely added on a whole other side to their stadium. First of all, is there a better seat than right here? No. <laughs> but the inside of this place is amazing. There's a huge, like just a massive room in there. It's like a reception area. There are places for beverages, adult beverages, snacks. This club level is the spot. I think I'm going to stay right here. I have to tell you, we were in the club level earlier. It is ridiculously amazing. Oh, it's beautiful. We've got great uh, athletic facilities here at WKU. We take a lot of pride in it. Season tickets have definitely picked up this year. Uh, we've still got some available. We've got new for this year, a Big Red Family Plan. Uh, it's four tickets for $150, only $37.50 a piece, uh, less than $8 a game. So a lot of great discounts, a lot of great deals. Uh, just a perfect family friend environment. That sounds, a, uh, that sounds a little too cheap. Are you sure those numbers are right, Matt? I'm positive. I'm <laughs> positive. It's in one section only, and we are getting close to sold out. But 1-800-5-BIG-RED and WKUSports.com, you find all of our information. But we're here. I'm trying to whisper because we're having a meeting right there, and the coach just hollered, and Brett just about beat chance. <laughs> so, okay, we're in the facilities here. This is where actually the players have their meeting. This is where a lot of the um, graduate assistants will come and work. This is where we get a lot of their administrative things done, but this is also where they have some of their pre-practice meetings and things like that with games. Now, this right here is pretty much like a show board so after every game you're going to get an award well not you maybe you if you're watching you're on the team they're going to give these awards after every single game and then all the pictures go up on here so it's kind of like like an overview of the year <laughs> can you all hear him yelling because i'm a little scared myself <laughs> okay we're going to keep going because i'm afraid he's going to put me on the field okay guys so we're in the middle of practice here on the beautiful field. Excuse me, sir. Excuse me. He needs a drink. Okay, so they've been stretching. <laughs> Big boy thirsty. Okay, so they're kind of just having a really light practice today because they're actually going to have a scrimmage tomorrow. Um, so right now they've been finished stretching. Now they're doing May Day. Not quite sure exactly what that is yet, but Brett, they're going to need you. Are you ready? <laughs> okay, then I'm going to go. You think I can kick a field goal? Surely I can kick a field goal. You think I can kick a field goal? Totally does. Totally. Think I can kick a field goal? See? Coach Brom, practice just wrapped up, and I have to tell you before we get started. Now, I went to Western here. Um, I've sat on this side many a times. I have never been inside of the new side of the stadium, and it is beyond amazing. Pretty nice, huh? Yeah, it's definitely uh, something we're proud of. You know, I think it was built about six years ago. It's really helped elevate our program, and really the facilities on the home side are second to none. When you look at the coaches' offices, the weight room, the training room, the locker room, the equipment room, all the things you need to be a successful program I think we have here now. As you see, the campus is beautiful as well, and uh, it's just a great place to be right now, and I think anytime we can get people to come check it out, they like what they see. I don't know how you couldn't like what you see. I'll be honest with you. I kind of wanted to chill out in the lounge area for a little bit, you know, kick back. But apparently that's frowned upon. You know, the locker room is right there. I had to come out for practice. But another day of practice, another day closer to your season opener. How excited are you right now to play some football? Well, I think we're all excited. You know, it's that time of the year. Football is right around the corner. Our team is hungry. I think we've worked extremely hard. We're eager to get out on the field. This year we, we have an outstanding schedule with some very good opponents where in order for us to win, we have to play at a high level. But that's what football is all about. When you're trying to raise your program and raise the level of play, you've got to play top teams. So our players are excited about it and our fans are. Uh, and it's a chance to showcase what we're all about. This game uh, we got this next Thursday is on national TV. It'll be a, a big audience. And this is a, a statement game where you can go out and prove uh, what Western Kentucky is all about. You know, and lucky to get Dowdy back again this year. You know, I joked earlier and said he's been here for like 12 years, but I don't mind as long as he can put a uniform on. And when you have a guy as special as he is, I feel like that kind of player makes everyone around him a better player as well. I mean, he's on about every watch list you can be on in an offense. I mean, how great is it for you to have him back? Well, it's definitely a plus. Uh, he played outstanding last year, really put up astronomical numbers, was a great leader for us, is a hard worker, student of the game, really cares about winning, cares about his teammates, uh, and I think the players respect him, and that's what it's all about. He's a quarterback that 
proven he can play uh, at a top level last year, but now the pressure's on. You know, he's got people that expect him to do that this year. I know some, some teams will be gunning for him. Uh, they'll have packages ready for him, trying to, to hit him a little bit, get under his skin, uh, try to confuse him. But this is what uh, he needs to develop as a player, and, and hopefully uh, he steps up to the challenge and has another good year. Yeah, Kirk Herbstreit just, you know, put him on his list. I don't know if you saw that today. Best kept secret. I'm like, well, then don't tell anybody. Like, <laughs> can we keep it a secret? That, that's what I heard. But, yeah, it's, it's secret no more, I guess. <laughs> so you were telling your boys after practice, you said this is what you've been working for the whole summer. You know, it's a one-game season. How do you keep that mentality? It's, it's easy to do that the first game because that's what you look for. But how do you keep that mentality throughout the year? Well, it's hard to do. I think, you know, always at the beginning of the year, everyone thinks they can go undefeated. But if you look at uh, every season last year, there was not one team undefeated. So that's really not as realistic as you think. So all you can do is really try to play a one game season and uh, you know we've got a great opponent now and we've got to go out and try to win and I tell our guys all the time uh, win lose or draw when the game's over you move on to the next one and uh, the sun will come up the next day day regardless of what happens and and uh, that's the way you got to approach the season if you don't do that you're going to get too high when you win you're going to get too low when you lose and hopefully we have some balance and we understand that uh, you know that's the approach we need to have in order to to have a successful year well coach thanks for letting us come out thanks for your time and I'll be there on Thursday cheering you on okay thank you